Hello once again. White to check mate in seven moves. I have previously uploaded a few of my games involving the Danish Gambit and this is yet another one in the final stages of that particular game. What we'll do in this game is we'll just play through the final stages and I'll make a few comments by the way. Looking at this position, material is even and you wouldn't think that black would be in a totally lost position would you and yet black is in exactly that what has happened here is he's just played his queen from g5 to g2 which is a mistake he's going after this pawn well he's never going to be able to take it what he's done though in moving away from here is he's abandoned his control over e5 and f6 they are key squares and he's also left himself wide open in one or two other areas. Can you see what the key move is from what I've just said? Okay, well, the key move is queen to b2. And what is ironic about this is he's just played queen g2 and now I've played queen b2. The problem for black now is, like I've just identified, white is threatening queen e5 or queen f6 and it's mate in two moves. On the other hand, should he play something like f6, then you take the pawn and it would amount to the same thing. Should he move the rook anywhere other than onto the back rank, there's also the possibility of queen h8 check picking up the queen's rook. And why can he not take this pawn? Well, if he were to touch it, then of course he'd leave his own rook en prise. But added to all of that, white is threatening down here. Now, of course, the only way that he can save this rook is by playing b6, but queen e5 and its mate. So, of the two moves that are worth considering, this one, and it just doesn't work out, because queen e5 puts him more or less in the same position. So, he admits defeat, and he goes back from whence he came to g5. So, how does white make progress? Well, I've just mentioned taking this pawn, and that is exactly what white does. And he's, he's not only hitting the rook here, but he's hitting this pawn with check. Now, black cannot save this rook. It is a resignable position at this point, and that's what I was meaning. There's, there's no way out for, for black. He's, he's just in a hopeless position. But what he does is he plays on his second move here. He's saying to me, well, you're going to win this game, but you're not going to checkmate me quite as quickly as you think you are, because if you take here, I'll take back, take back. I lose my queen, but I can still hang on a bit. Well, he can't, because what you then do on your third move is you play queen takes c6 check. Now if he plays his king to here then quite simply it's rook takes, queen takes, rook takes and it's checkmate. Should he interpose the rook then you take here and he's quickly checkmated. So the only move that he really has is to play here. Now what do we do? Well the simplest way of wrapping things up here is to take this rook down here. And now he is behind in material, but he's going to be checkmated very shortly on the ranks. So to extend this game to seven moves, he gives a spike check here. He could have checked here and the king would have taken, he could have checked here and the rook would have taken. He's chosen that, and so now we play five, queen takes b5. So what on earth does black do in this position? He really is without a, a good reply, there's, there's just nothing that he can do. But, of course, white is threatening, here we go again, queen e5 mate. So, the way that black avoids that is by playing here. And now, if we were to play here, he has a flight square. If we were to play here, he goes back to e7. So, what we do, uh, quite simply to wrap this one up, is we play here. And as I say, we're getting him on the, the ranks. So, he goes back. We could go here, but I like the idea of enveloping the black king, as I'm sure that you do, and that is checkmate. What this game proves is that the Danish gamut is very dangerous. It's not perfect by any means. There are one or two hairy moments even for white, but black has to be on the metal all the time. Otherwise, he's not going to stand any chance of defending against it, and that is even with the best defence. And I, I would still recommend the Danish gamut, especially in speed games, to uh, possibly upset the opponent.
this was yet again a 30 minute game and it worked out for me. So I hope you enjoyed that one and goodbye for now.